This presentation provides information on the Ebola virus. Content of these slides comes from Creative Diagnostics Company. Ebola is a viral hemorrhagic illness that has a high fatality rate. The virus was discovered in 1976 near the Ebola River in the present-day Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, several small outbreaks have occurred in Africa. The 2014 outbreak is the largest. Ebola viruses are believed to live in fruit bats. Ebola is caused by viruses in the Ebola virus and Filoviridae family. Ebola virus comprises five distinct species, Thai forest, Sudan virus, Bundibugyo virus, Zaire virus, four of the strains are responsible for outbreaks in humans. The fifth subspecies, Reston virus, has caused disease in non-human primates, but not in people. The virus causing the 2014 West African outbreak belongs to the Zaire species. Ebola virus is a single-stranded, negative-sense RNA virus, 18,959 to 18,961 nucleotides in length. The length of the Ebola virus particle is around 300 till to 1500 nm. The Ebola virus genome consists of seven structural proteins, nucleoprotein, polymerase cofactor VP35, VP40, glycoprotein, transcription activator VP30, VP24, and RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. The Ebola virus has a long capsule with the appearance of a crooked, branching filament, surrounding a single small strand of RNA. Ebola viruses are believed to live in bats. Scientists think that sometimes bats infect monkeys or other animals. People may become sick after butchering an Ebola-infected animal, or through direct contact with infected bats. Once a human being has become infected, the virus can start spreading through human to human and cause a human outbreak. In general, to survive, viruses must find a host cell and take it over. The virus also replicates itself so that it can be spread to other host cells. In response to a virus, the human body produces antibodies. Antibodies stop the virus from spreading and help clear it from the body. The problem with Ebola is that the virus spreads so rapidly that it can easily overcome the body's immune response. It can take from 2 to 21 days, but usually 8 to 10 days, after infection for signs of Ebola to appear. Symptoms can seem like the flu at first, sudden fever, feeling tired, muscle pains, headache, and sore throat. As the disease gets worse, it causes vomiting, diarrhea, rash, and bruising or bleeding without an injury, like from the eyes or gums. Ebola virus is difficult to diagnose because early signs and symptoms resemble those of other diseases, such as typhoid and malaria. If doctors suspect you have Ebola viruses, they use blood tests to quickly identify the virus, including ELISA and PCR to detect Ebola virus RNA, Ebola antigens and Ebola antibodies. There is currently no licensed vaccine available for Ebola. At the moment, Treatment for Ebola is limited to intensive supportive care and includes balancing the patient's fluids and electrolytes, maintaining their oxygen status and blood pressure, treating a patient for any complicating infections. There is currently no vaccine to prevent Ebola. The best way to avoid the virus is by not traveling to areas where the virus is prevalent. Healthcare providers prevent self-infection by wearing goggles, masks, and gloves whenever they are in contact with people who have Ebola. Ebola is transmitted by coming in direct contact with bodily fluids from an infected person. There is currently no licensed vaccine available for Ebola. Recently, researchers discovered first human antibodies to fight all Ebola viruses. The findings published online in the journal Cell, could lead to the first broadly effective Ebola virus therapies and vaccines.
Thank you.